Gerringong, New South Wales. We're just stopping in to check out a little brewery. It looks very small. Sat in the car for ages trying to work in the Link to Go app, but I think we've covered our M7 trip. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we don't get a toll notice. And my back's out because this morning I decided that I'd fall into the area under the bed as I was putting my shoes on. I don't know what I was thinking. I must've thought the bed was down and yeah, so I've, I've scruffed myself up pretty bad, but these are the things that happen on your trips. I had looked up a few places that we could stop and visit and see along the way to Bamagui the following day and Stoke Brewery came up. Jeff and I like to stop in and check out some breweries. We actually brew a fair bit at home. If you want to find out a little bit more about brewing, let us know. We can pop a few of those videos up too. Um, just pop down the comments below. But here we find ourselves at Stoic Brewing and we're just um, selecting a couple of tasters um, before we set off on our way again. Stoic Brewing is at Jeringong and you'll find it on Rollins Road. It's in sort of like a little bit of an industrial estate. Um, it surprisingly doesn't look like a brewery from the outside, but definitely does on the inside. shops, sweets and treats, very ice cream. Hippies. Lots of hippies. Oh yeah. Is it him or her? I don't know. Apologies if you watch this. <laughs> we we're making our way down the east coast and there were so many places to stop and see. I mean honestly when we can start to look at partial retirement and be on the road, we're definitely going to be stopping in and seeing a lot more of these places. We continued our way down through Nowra and then took an inland cut across to see the Fleet Air Arm Museum. Tower, tower, this is the Friday Frothy. We're en route to Bathurst. Um, we're flying at 33,000 feet and uh, yeah, smooth sailing all the way. Airborne. The pedals make the Huey turn left or right. Please be gentle with the controls. Anyone caught being rough with the controls will be asked to leave the museum. Thank you for visiting the Fleet Air Arm Museum. We hope you enjoy your flight. No one's enjoying that. <laughs> We're going to crash. Oh, it's straight to the boat. Straight through it. And just in case you didn't realise, you know I do live with an entertainer. <laughs> Keeps me amused a lot of the time. Well, there is one thing I've learnt today. I'm really rubbish at flying a helicopter. This was an excellent museum. And although the entry was free, there was a donation box. So if you are stopping by, make sure that you can leave a little bit of something to help them with the curation and the maintenance of this particular one. It was time for us to start heading south yet again. We did have a long drive today, but it was great to break up the drive, stopping at all these different places and sites along the way. Just popped the van at Jarvis Bay. It's pulled up. And just found a little bit of ocean. <laughs> Getting some sandwiches ready. I don't know what the locals are thinking. <laughs> it's great to have a little van like this. We just pulled up, popped it open, made our sandwiches, closed it down. Are we ready to rock and roll again? <laughs> we are in Milton. Hello, Milton. Milton! <laughs> 
ball. It's Lear and me. Lear and me. Hello, Lear. <laughs> and me. One thing I did find interesting during our travels along the East Coast Road was that often you didn't get to have a scenic view because of the tree-lined highway. But when it did open up, you were treated to some of the most spectacular scenery. In the middle of nowhere, look, there's a Tesla charger. Wrap a Della and just picked up oh, ow. Oh, again. some ice cream. We chose um, plum. Kakadu plum. Kakadu plum because they do our My Kitchen rules. The ice cream's really nice. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. It's yummy, but it's got lots and lots of cinnamon in it. Mm. it takes away from the plum flavour. Yeah. It was getting quite late in the afternoon, even so we were pretty impressed that we managed to visit a few places along the way and take a little bit of a slow drive through each of the towns checking them out. It wouldn't be long until we were at Bermagui. We will cover our stay in Bermagui in our next video because by the time we got there we were pretty tired, got to Woolies and tried to find something decent to eat. You know what? It better look like the picture. Yeah, like well, the bloody picture looks great. Look at it. Hey? It better look good. We'll compare when it gets out. The comparison wasn't great, and when I look back at these videos now during editing, it kind of makes me want to heave. But anyway, let's move on. I hope you're enjoying our videos. Make sure you stick around for the next one because, like I said, we'll be covering a Burma Gui. And give us a like and subscribe to the channel because it does help us out. And we'll catch you in the next one.